Hi, I'm Medhavi and I'm the founder of Happy Hands Foundation. Right now, we are at the Shadipur colony in Delhi. Uh, Shadipur is basically the haven for puppeteers in Delhi. Uh, not just puppeteers, but uh, artists who practice different folk art forms as well. That's where Happy Hands comes in, sort of enables them, empowers them to take their own call, create their own enterprise, draft their own vision, and you know, sort of go on their own route. Incubating creative enterprises for artisans is one thing we do. Heritage education is the second thing we do. And bringing young people into the heritage um, arts is the third thing we do, with a focus on entrepreneurship as well. Whatever is the monetary investment is shared. So whenever a product is sold or whenever a show is sold, the profits are divided equally in the ratio of uh, investment that has been there. And uh, once the artist community receives its share, they're encouraged to invest part of that into the next lot of raw material. Uh, that sort of, sort of uh, pushes happy hands back a little and slowly we exit. So a lot of puppet shows um, have focused on women's rights, gender violence, education for the girl child, but ironically they've all been told by male artists. Today, the work that is happening is that it's so happy that the first time it's a very big work is that the women have started to learn the work of the women. The women have made the work of the women who 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 have made the work of the women. लेकिन ये सब तो इनके खून में है, ये आर्ट वगैरह तो सारा इनके ब्लड के अंदर खून में है। So our thought here is to let women talk about these issues, let women be part of discussions, focus group discussions or workshops, which enable them to first understand the issue, you know, and then from their reaction is the play, because I think that is a very important part in bringing about change. You need to internalize it first. You know, because before you talk about it, you need to first feel that yes, I am empowered to talk about it. You know, right now the community advocates for a lot of these rights, but their women are not at the forefront. So there is a visible disconnect between the art and what it, what its impact could be. So which is what we want to bridge through a program like this. This part of having women come up to the forefront has been one of the easier things. You know, because they love their work. And once they love their work, and once they see that there is monetary benefit in it, I think they automatically are more charged up towards it.